Well, my instant feeling was to be sickened by it. I want to show you one more from Piers Morgan because Jordan Peterson was on. Uh, this is during the ARC conference just uh, last week. Uh, and Piers asked Jordan about the growing tide of anti-Semitism. Where were you when you first heard about it? And what was your instant feeling about it? Well, my instant feeling was to be sickened by it. I'm also more sensitive to any signs of anti-Semitic catastrophe from studying the Holocaust for the length of time that I did. And I've always regarded Jews as the canary in the coal mine. And I think the reason that the Jews are the canary in the coal mine is because they're a successful minority. You know, and if a, if a culture can tolerate a successful minority, it's pretty damn robust and it's not very resentful. And as soon as a culture starts to get resentful, the Jews make an easy target because they're a minority, and so well, that's an easy target to begin with, but then they're the minority that has the temerity to be successful. And that really brings the resentful out of the rat holes. They're a minority that has the temerity to be successful. That, that is what the, uh, the American dream is all about. Again, this is not about Jews. You watching this right now, you're most likely a minority in one way or another, in, even if you are white, right? Like you came, your ancestors came here. It's not, I don't mean minority in like the most narrow view of it, but everyone watching this, your ancestors basically came here with nothing. And then they probably worked a lot harder than you have to work right now. Just really think in your own mind for yourself. Try to think about uh, your parents and your grandparents and your great grandparents, however many generations ago your people got here. No one gave anyone anything. Certain minorities were able to figure out how to succeed within that system, be it through uh, culture or tradition or religion or belief or any of those things. And that's what the American dream is all about. So when they go after the Jews now, the canary in the coal mine line that Jordan's using is correct. It's just, it's not going to end with them. They're the ones going, guys, there's noxious poison in this coal mine, and if the canary drops dead, a whole bunch of us are gonna drop dead all along, uh, all alongside that canary. So everyone has to care about this, and we have to figure out what will be those limits that Douglas is talking about, about li with liberal societies. Will liberal societies die on the sword of free speech for everybody to the point of you can call for the death of your co-citizen. Is that really what liberalism is all about? Is that is that really the liberalism that many people have justly defended for you know for hundreds of years? Is that the liberalism of the enlightenment? I don't know. Maybe it is if societies won't do anything in the face of all of this stuff.